is news at 8 on Remo TV. I am Oyeri Damlola. First, the headlines. Resident doctor suspends 63-day-old strike. Federal government fixes cut-off on Ishaoweri Road. Ogun pulls down distressed school building. Ogun police arrest two suspected kidnappers. Rapper M.I. Abaga celebrates 40th birthday. Welcome to King Victor's Enterprise. King Victor Nigeria Enterprises is a make a tell you now say Una with a self provision, noodles, granite oil, and other food items there. Emini Yaloja Ikene, Mrs. Olubumi Oluwole. King Victor is a nice son, I mean, because he's a son to me, and he doesn't shit. King Victor Nigeria Enterprises are one major distributors, Honeywell, Golden Penny. King's Oil, Gino at the Bear Law, Bo Bo, one thing, one thing, Bawa do po. Let's say you are one king, Mister Dankata, for one country, one jello do wa. So na na, Mrs. Kende Akiola for like the the chicken ogere market. Then the shag on customer na. Then na zo nsi abu ye na si abu the gahano King Victor. Come straight to King Victor Nigeria Enterprises. And our top stories: the National Association of Resident Doctors NAD. On Monday, suspended the 63 day old strike. The national president of NAD, Dr. Godia Ishaya, explained that the striking doctors will officially resume work on Wednesday, the 6th of October 2021, by 8 a.m. He said the decision to suspend the strike was re after a thorough review of the progress they have made on their demands. Ishaya will explain that the suspension of the strike was not based on their parents' body, NEMA. NEMA's advice on Sunday said the National Executive Council had on October 1st held a full day meeting to review the progress of the strike and, and weigh what they would have been able to achieve that could motivate the members to suspending the protracted strike. We met on the 1st of October 2021, but went on recess for the NEC members to go back to their various congresses and have a robust discussion of what would have been able to push through and resume. So having considered them and seen the position of the various congresses, we decided to suspend the strike officially, starting from the 6th of October at 8 a.m. This was the position that was taken. We decided to officially resume on Wednesday, considering the fact that some of the members who have traveled to come back and with the insecurity of the country are afraid to travel by night. Still on our top stories. After nearly two weeks of agonizing experiences by commuters and motorists flying the Onitawe Federal Road, the Federal Ministry of Works has finally fixed the collapsed portion. The Obosi end of the road was severed opposite the Metallurgical Training Institute on Onicha due to the blockage of the flood channels in the area by some, by some property owners. The action weakened the Federal Highway, which collapsed and led to the submerging of several houses and motor parks in the area. For days, vehicles from Ori could not enter Onicha, forcing passengers to cross the Onicha end by foot. There was therefore jubilation when traffic resumed on the road weekend. On state news, the Ogun State Government has pulled down a block of classrooms at Nazareth High School in Meko, in Imeko, a former local government area of Ogun State. The building, which recently became distressed and partially collapsed on a group of students, killing one and injuring the other two in the process, was demolished over the weekend on the instruction of the Ogun State Governor, Prince Dapo Abiodun. The Governor further directed the immediate reconstruction of the demolished block of classroom and entered that any other public building found to be distressed will be pulled down and reconstructed. Still on state news, men of Ogun State Command of Nigerian Police arrested two suspected kidnappers while trying to pick up ransom in the state. The suspects, according to the statement by the command's image maker, Abimbola Uyeyemi, are Mohamed Abubakar and Clinton Nietzsche. Okoyemi added that the suspects were apprehended following a report lodged at Agbara Area Command by one Stephen Ajibili, who reported that his seven-year-old son, Daniel Ajibili, was abducted by unknown persons while he was sent on an errand by his mother at about 11.20 a.m. The father stated that the abductors had called him and demanded for the sum of one million naira if he wants to, if he wants his son released. Consequence on the report, the acting area commander, Barra CSP Kayode Shedrak, mobilized his detectives to embark on technical and intelligence based on investigation to unravel those behind the dastardly act. The efforts of the detectives paid off when the suspects who had directed the victim's parents to drop the ransom somewhere were ambushed and apprehended by the police detectives. Meanwhile, the acting commissioner of police, DSP Abiodun Alamotun, 
has ordered the immediate transfer of the suspects to anti-kidnapping section of the state's criminal investigation and intelligence department for discreet investigation. On entertainment, Nigeria rapper M.I. Abaga has clocked 40. To celebrate this special day, the music star took to his Instagram page on Monday, October 4th, 2021, where he penned a message to celebrate his birthday. Today, I cross a personally joyful milestone. From henceforth, the adages promise life will begin. Without knowing it, that was my recent process to arrive here at this moment today. Shedding the old and making way for the new, he wrote, I'm grateful for the work here. I look around, locking eyes with all you who have refused to leave. Adamant that I worth the right. And you are not wrong, but I am worth it because of you. If for the road ahead, I can count on you, then you are my friend. Let us forge ahead. Bring it on. Let life begin. Am I at 40? Hashtag still incredible. And that's it on the news at 8 on Remo TV. For more news updates, you can follow us on all our social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website www.remotv.com.ng. I am Oyeri Damlola. Good night.